This video is on integration using residues. In today's video, I am going to evaluate the integral using residues. In this video, I am going to show that integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 2 plus cos theta value is equal to 2 pi by root 3. See here, it is very clear that in each and every video I am taking, z is equal to e power i theta. So, we have to put z value as e power i theta. As you know that e power i theta is nothing but cos theta plus this is i sin theta. So, if I take modulus on both sides, so this value is modulus of z is equal to mod cos theta plus this value is i sin theta. So, modulus of z value is equal to root over this is cos square theta plus the value here is sin square theta. Therefore, mod z, mod z value is equal to 1. So, here the region value here is the circle with center 0 and radius 1. And the next thing here we need is d theta. For finding d theta as usual, that is z is equal to e bar i theta. So, if I make a derivative on both sides, dz is equal to e power i theta values again e power i theta i into d theta. So, dz is equal to z i into d theta. Now, our d theta value is equal to this is dz by the value here is z i. So, we have d theta value is equal to d theta is equal to dz by the value here is z i. And the next one here is cos theta. For finding cos theta, what we have to do? So, for cos theta, the value here is e power i theta plus e power minus i theta by 2. That is, cos theta is equal to z plus this is z inverse by 2. So, this is cos theta is equal to z plus 1 by z by 2. So, cos theta value is equal to. So, cos theta value here is z squared plus 1 by this value is 2z. Therefore, we got cos theta is equal to this is z squared plus 1 by this value is 2z. So, we got cos theta value as z squared plus 1 by 2z. And therefore, now we have to substitute all these values in the given integral. First thing here is the region here is mod z is equal to 1. Clear? So, mod z value mod z value is equal to 1 and here next d theta value here is d theta value is equal to this is dz by z into i and cos theta value here is z square plus 1 by 2z that is z square plus 1 by this is 2z. Now I am going to substitute each and every value in this integral. So what is the integral here? Integral is nothing but integral 0 to 2 pi this is integral 0 to 2 pi. This is d theta by this value is 2 plus cos theta. So, this is integral 0 to 2 pi. d theta is nothing but this is dz by zi by this is 2 plus. What is cos theta value? Cos theta is nothing but z squared plus 1 by this value is 2z. So, this is integral 0 to 2 pi. This is dz by zi into so if i take 2z common this will be 4z plus this value is z square plus 1 here now i can cancel this one and set 2 to the numerator so this will be integral 0 to 2 pi this is 2 into dz by i times of if i write it in a proper way this will be z square plus 4z plus 1 so what is our f of z value so, integral f of z into dz. So, in between integral and dz, the value here is f of z. So, f of z value is equal to clearly as 2 by i times of this is z square plus 4z plus 1. So, as you know that if I equate the denominator to 0, I will be getting the pole values. So, for getting pole values, I have to equate this denominator to 0 that is z square plus 4z plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this will be z square plus 4z plus 1 is equal to 0 and I am going to use this formula. So, which formula it is minus b plus or minus. See here this value is minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, if I use this formula then see this value is a. a is 1. So, b is 
4 and c is equal to 1. So this is minus 4 plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac that is 4 into 1 by 2a. So this is minus 4 plus or minus root 12 by 2. So this is minus 4 plus or minus this is 4 into 3 by 2. So this value is minus 4 plus or minus 2 root 3 by 2. 2. So, if I take 2 common here, this is minus 2 plus or minus root 3 by 2. So, if I cancel this 2. So, what are our root values? So, here minus 2 plus or minus root 3. So, here the whole values are minus 2 plus or minus root 3. So, here the pole values are minus 2 plus or minus root 3. So, I am considering alpha and beta are the two roots of this function so let alpha and beta so alpha comma beta be the two roots so the two poles two poles here so the first pole alpha is equal to minus 2 plus root 3 and beta is equal to minus 2 minus root 3 see here minus root 3 and we have the region here so which region it is the region value here is the first thing the region value here is mod z is equal to 1 so, we have mod z is equal to 1. So, mod z is equal to 1 is nothing but. So, this is a circle with center 0 and radius 1. So, this will be minus 1. So, this is i and this is minus i. See here, alpha value is nothing but minus 2 plus. What is root value? Root 3 is 1.732. So, alpha value is minus 0. Some 0.268. And if you consider beta. So, beta is equal to minus 2 minus root 3 that is minus 1.732. So, the beta value is minus 3.732. So, this is our beta value. So, this is our beta value and this is our alpha value. So, if I substitute here, this will be minus 2 minus 0 0.2 something value here is this one alpha and beta value is minus 3. So, here is outside. So, beta value is outside the given region and alpha value is within the region and this region is mod z is equal to 1. So, we have to calculate the residue value at the interior pole, interior pole alpha. And see, it is very clear that alpha value is less than 1 and beta value is greater than 1. And therefore, we have to calculate the residue value. For finding the residue, again I am taking f of z value. So, what is our f of z value? Clearly, our f of z value is 2 by i times of z square plus 4z plus 1. That is 2 by i times of this is z square plus 4z plus 1. So, I can write this as f of z can be written as 2 by i times of this is z square minus 4z plus 1. See here, I am adding up the roots. So, what is alpha and what is beta? So, this is alpha and this is beta. So, alpha value is equal to minus 2 plus root 3 and beta value is minus 2 minus 2 root 3. So, if I add these two, alpha plus beta, this is minus 2 plus root 3 this is minus 2 minus root 3 if i cancel these two alpha plus beta value is equal to minus 4 clear and next one if i multiply these two alpha into beta so what is alpha this is minus 2 plus root 3 this is minus 2 minus root 3 alpha beta value is equal to minus 2 whole square minus root 3 whole square i can cancel these two alpha beta value is equal to 4 minus 3 so Alpha beta value is equal to 1 here. So clearly we got the sum of the roots or the sum of the poles alpha plus beta value as minus 4 and alpha beta value as 1. So now I can write this uh, f of z value as so f of z can be written as 2 pi i times of this is z square minus minus 4 can be written as alpha plus beta into z plus this value is alpha beta in place of 1 I am writing alpha beta and see this can be transformed as f of z is equal to 2 by i times of if I multiply with z so this will be z alpha minus z beta plus this value is alpha beta so f of z value is equal to 
this is 2 by i times of if i take z common this will be z minus alpha if i take beta common this will be z minus alpha again so f of z value is equal to this is 2 pi i times of if i take z minus alpha common this will be z minus beta so this will be z minus beta so after getting f of z value as so what is the f of z value is This is 2 by i times of this is z minus alpha into z minus beta. Now what is our interior pole here? The interior pole is alpha. Alpha is our interior pole and now we have to calculate. Which one we have to calculate? The residue value. So this is the residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught is. This value is limit z tends to z naught. This is z minus z naught into f of z as this is a simple pole and therefore if i substitute here this will be residue value at z is equal to alpha is equal to see residue value at z is equal to alpha is equal to this is limit z tends to alpha this is z minus alpha into f of z so what is the f of z f of z is 2 by i times of this is z minus alpha into this value is z minus beta now i can cancel these two and substitute in place of z as alpha so this will be 2 by i times of this is alpha minus beta so what is our alpha value alpha value is very clear as alpha is equal to minus 2 plus root 3 so alpha alpha value is minus 2 plus root 3 and beta value is minus 2 minus root 3 and alpha minus beta value is minus 2 plus root 3 so this will be 2 plus root 3 now i can cancel these two and alpha minus beta value is 2 root 3 this is this value is 2 root 3 2 root 3 now we got alpha minus beta value as 2 root 3 clear and now i am going to substitute here as this is 2 by i times of this value is 2 root 3 and I can cancel this 2 and therefore the residue value of f of z at the interior pole z is equal to alpha is 1 by root 3 into i. Now according to our uh, residue theorem, now we have to use the residue theorem. What is our residue theorem statement states that? The residue theorem states that, so this is integral f of z into dz is nothing but 2 pi i into sum of the residues, sum of the residues at interior poles, at the interior poles and therefore what is our uh, integral value? So, this integral value is nothing but integral 0 to 2 pi d theta. So, this is d theta by this value is 2 plus cos theta value is equal to 2 pi i into this is sum of the residues at the interior poles. Here, interior pole is alpha that is 1 by root 3 into i. So, if I cancel this i, then this will be integral 0 to 2 pi this value is d theta by 2 plus cos theta is equal to this is 2 pi by the value here is root 3 this is the integral value that is integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 2 plus cos theta is equal to 2 pi by root 3 so this value is 2 pi by root 3 and let me show you here so we have to show that integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by 2 plus cos theta is equal to 2 by root 3 and we have to take z is equal to e power i theta z is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta if you take modulus on both sides mod z is equal to 1 this is a circle with center 0 and radius 1 and again we need d theta value for finding d theta we have to make a derivative on both sides dz is equal to e power i theta into i into d theta and d theta value is equal to dz by z i and again we need cos theta value for getting cos theta value this is e power i theta plus e power minus i theta by 2 and this value is cos theta is equal to z squared plus 1 by 2z and here if you see after substituting all the values d theta value and cos theta value in this integral so we got f of z as this one so if you equate the denominator to 0 
so if you equate the denominator to 0 we will be getting the poles of the given function so this is the formula which we have to apply and after applying so these are the two poles the first pole is minus 2 plus or minus root 3 and alpha beta are the two poles these are the two simple poles alpha is this one and beta is this one so we have got the region as mod z is equal to 1 so mod z is nothing but it is a circle with center 0 and radius 1 so for the first one alpha the first pole is minus 2 plus root 3 value is 1.732 which is equal to minus 0 0.2 so here is the alpha value and here beta value is outside so this value is outside the given region the contour mod z is equal to 1 and therefore we have to calculate the residue value for that i'm modifying or transforming f of z value as this so i'm writing minus 4 inside and this is plus 1 so this is sum of the roots alpha plus beta and the product of the roots alpha beta and after multiplying so this is our f of z value and after getting this f of z value we have to find the residue value at z is equal to alpha so alpha after get cancelling so we have to keep beta in place of z so sorry alpha in place of z so this will be alpha minus beta so alpha minus beta value is 2 root 3 so after cancelling 2 we got this one and after applying the residue theorem this is 2 pi i into the sum of the residues of the interior pole so this is 2 pi by root 3 so this is also most important question very very regularly asked a question so if you practice definitely you can get more score and you can pass it on to your friends if you really like this video please subscribe to this channel and please go through the playlist and so many videos are uploaded for your preparation please avail those and make your preparation easier thank you so much